Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome to the introduction of the new tutorial, uh, tutorial who's gonna start today. So in this tutorial is gonna be a React Native app where we're gonna use a GraphQL endpoint we did create in one of my latest uh, tutorial uh, in Golang. Uh, if you didn't follow this one, don't worry. I pushed the, the, the code on Heroku so you can just use this GraphQL endpoint if you don't want to learn about Golang. Else I'm gonna put the link of this tutorial in the description is a two video, like 50 minutes uh, in total. So it's pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, so it's been a long time since I make a React Native tutorial and I really, really want to share with you a lot of new stuff I use now and also um, like kind of my best practice by myself. Like, I mean, it's not like uh, the, the best way for everyone, but for me, I think it, it worked pretty well. Also. I do want you to learn stuff we don't see a lot in those uh, YouTube videos, like installing native module. And I even think about making one with you. So we're going to be able to create one in the Objective C and Java and be able to use those code inside our uh, application we're going to build. So finally, here the, the list of what we're going to learn finally. So we're going to learn GraphQL with Apollo. We're going to use hooks. Uh, we're gonna create some custom hook and I was thinking I'm not quite sure because it's gonna take some time But if if some of you want to see a test in hook, I can maybe at least show all you can do at least one We're gonna use react navigation 5 for the navigation Like I said, we're gonna install uh, install a lot of native module because we don't gonna use the expo in this app That's gonna be uh, Venia uh, react native so yeah, and we're gonna maybe create one. We're gonna also be able to play audio. It's a podcast app, so it's kind of like uh, the main purpose. We're gonna be able also to download downloading file and cache those files because if the user uh, listen to a podcast, he won't surely to be able to listen to this one offline. Also, we're gonna use a TypeScript. I think it's the way to go right now. Uh, we're gonna also need to manage a lot of state and also we're gonna learn about the some designing tips um, so how this one's gonna be something you're gonna enjoy and yes so we're gonna start in the next video where we're gonna start just installing some of the library so the first video is gonna be really quick it's just about installing library I don't want to go too much further with a video where we install the library because if I need to change something in the installation process, I can just maybe just redo this video or put comments on this video versus doing a one hour video where we build stuff plus installing. So you see my point. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comment if this is a, a, a tutorial you're going to enjoy and we're going to talk in the next one. Bye everyone.